Hello, back for another Car Talks. Today we're going to talk about when to script and when not to script. Now I know my audience and I know me, we're all about scripting and we want to write PowerShell scripts and scripts for everything. But unfortunately, it's not always the case. And I, I know it sucks, I know it sucks, um, but I'm here to uh, to hopefully show you a little bit and explain no it's 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 okay it's it's okay we'll we'll get we'll get past it so let me show you tell you an example um, of this first so let's say that you are the powershell scripter guru extraordinaire at your uh, organization it's a smaller organization and you work with i don't know a, a handful of other people that uh, in the same realm so help desk guys some other sysadmins some network engineers and, and therefore so um, let's just say you build a script that is keeping some uh, uh, some service alive on a server for example some critical business service and uh, it's a service that, that kicks off every now and then maybe on a scheduled task or something like that it really doesn't matter let's say you go on vacation and that service has a problem and something with your script goes wrong because you're on vacation, they don't want to bother you. So your coworkers go in and look at your script and we're like, what in the hell is that? I have no idea. What's this for thing? Where's the button that I can click on? You know, this sort of thing. They have no idea what to do. And as a result, they go through and try to, to decipher your script and maybe uh, take longer to fix it or even make the problem worse by trying to run your script and there's something, something wrong with it. So the first thing to, to to remember is to remember to to work with the other people that you know to remember the other people that you work with when you write a script. You know when you write a script just for your own personal use that really has nothing to do with you know a business the business or any of the other team that's fine. But if once you start writing stuff that uh, that touches production uh, some critical some critical server some critical process in the business that's when things sort to change you have to realize okay if i get hit by a bus who's going to maintain this who's going to be the one that understands this and they don't have to know powershell or any scripting language as much as you do but they do need to know how to understand it who's kind of going to be my backup this is where a cross training comes in hand if you if you are really good at something you always want to at least have one other people one other person just to kind of understand what you're doing and then this is the same thing um, same thing with PowerShell with, with scripting in general so um, in that case if there is nobody else and there's nobody that could possibly uh, you know understand it I would argue they need to be trained but um, let's just say that that's not a possibility so in that case it may be good to use a tool so an existing um, tool off the shelf to where they can go into a web interface or something and click off um, click on what they want to do and manage it that way that's one reason that uh, you may not want to use a, a script to solve a problem another reason um, would be this is one thing that I've been thinking about for um, for a little bit so uh, another reason would be it's really hard for me to, to decide on what what's a good another good reason because honestly um, it's uh, you know it's really I really believe firmly that you should script a lot but let's just say another thing is a time reason so this is another one that may uh, you know that may come into play there's a, a lot of vendors out there that have products that do something and um, as you should know uh, if you don't already by now PowerShell and uh, lots of other scripting languages in general can pretty much do everything that every vendor does it's just how the script is designed and how it's how it's run and uh, and that sort of thing so let's just say that uh, you know you don't have any time you would prefer to write PowerShell scripts all day to automate everything possible but you know you ha you know you know how to do it you know um, you know once you get up to a certain point with uh, with PowerShell and with uh, script writing you can generally do whatever you want I mean it uh, there is really no limits to what you can do with, with PowerShell so but let's just say you have a lot of other things on your plate you know you can't you can't just write scripts for everything because you're always going to have other things to do time um, is time management is another big thing if you can buy a tool off the shelf that does exactly what something that you want to write a PowerShell script to do 
then you should just get the tool. If the tool, the tool may be free, it may be inexpensive, just get the tool and solve the problem and you, because you're always going to have other areas uh, of, your, of your career and your job to, uh, uh, to automate the script. So that's another big thing. Time management is a big thing for me. Whenever I first started out, and I still, uh, I still struggle with this somewhat to a degree, even though I'm pretty much a PowerShell developer at this point, um, in the previous position, I would try to write PowerShell scripts for everything. I loved, I loved scripting, I loved automating everything, and generally it was a good idea because uh, I had the time up front and it saved time in the long run like any piece of automation does. But there are times when I would miss deadlines because I was busy writing a script when we just needed to get something out the door now, 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 whenever there was some kind of other tool available um, to you that saves time. Um, you know, I didn't really get into major trouble or anything, but I know that there was sometimes when somebody's like, well, why is this, why is this task taking you so long when we just need to do this thing this one time? And I'm like, well, I'm writing this PowerShell script that will that will handle this situation and all the, you know, 10 iterations and 10 years down the road sort of situation. And I would get in tr kind of get in trouble for that because I'm like, well, just, you know, get, get X tool, get, get this ping tool or, you know, get this file transfer tool or get something. Just, let's just buy it real quick. It's cheap and then get the problem solved. That's one thing. That's one thing that you need to, to also look out for. It's, it's, it's a really good skill to recognize when you have other things to be pragmatic about your other tasks even though you love writing scripts don't you can't script everything because there's always that fine balance um, between the two so that concludes um, today's car talk um, as always I want to remind you to uh, hit the like button if you uh, like this video or feel free to subscribe here um, to the channel I really appreciate it I really love doing these videos and uh, I hope to do more for you um, in the future